Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to look at the concept of isotopes and atomic mass. Well, what is an isotope? Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have different atomic masses. Now, if they're of the same element, we know that they have to have the same number of protons but they do differ in their number of neutrons. So for example, when you see C12 and C13, that's what that's talking about. They're stable isotopes in nature, mostly of carbon 12 and partially of carbon 13, okay? So what happens here is these are individual atomic masses, the 12 and the 13, and they show up at fixed proportions or fractions of all the carbon in the world. No matter where you were to go in the world, if you find some carbon and you example, examine their atoms, uh, you would see a fixed ratio of carbon 12 versus carbon 13. Now, this doesn't affect Dalton's theory at all of uh, atoms. The behavior of both of these isotopes is virtually identical. So what we see when we look on this periodic table here is an average of those uh, atomic masses. So that 12.011 there is taking into account the fraction of the carbon 12 times the mass of 12 plus the fraction of the carbon 13 times the mass of 13. And as you can see, the proportion is drastically in the favor of carbon 12. That's what allows us to get that average atomic mass. So we keep throwing around this word atomic mass. What is atomic mass? Well, it's exactly what I just said. The average of the mass of the naturally occurring isotopes. This is what you're going to find on the periodic table. It's also referred to as a molar mass. Once we discuss the concept of moles, we'll go over the concept of molar mass as well. Now don't confuse atomic mass with protons plus neutrons. That's the mass number. Okay. Um, here we're talking about the average of the atomic masses of all the naturally occurring isotopes. So how does this work? What's the concept? Well, the isotopes, like I said, only show up a fraction of the time in each sample of carbon or whatever we're discussing. So the basic formula is the summation of the fraction that it occurs out in nature, or this could be a percentage as well, uh, times the weight of each one of those uh, added together is going to give us that, ooh, that should be average atomic mass, sorry. <clears throat> so, for instance, if we have two isotopes, A and B, this could easily be the uh, carbon 12 and this would be the carbon 13 it would be the fraction of carbon 12 always found in nature times the weight which in this case would be 12 and uh, you would add it to the fraction of carbon 13 times 13 and that would equal the average atomic mass of 12.011 in this case the only difference if I use a percentage here and here is that whenever I do percentages you need to multiply by a hundred here okay that's only if you're doing percentages if you're not doing percentages it would be a one because we're talking about fractions of a whole alright so there's a couple ways these problems can be given to you you can either be given 
both the fraction and the weight of each isotope and you just multiply and add them together to get the average atomic mass or you might be given the percentage do the same concept finally they might give you the average atomic mass the different weights and ask for the percentages those are the three types of problems you might see there will be an example video for each of those so make sure you check that out practice 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 thank you and have a nice day